KDN Live 1504 is out. As you can see, the version number is completely new, as it contains the year and month numbers. The subtle UI changes have widescreen workstations in mind. More interfaces next to one another at the top, and vertically thinner buttons without big icons, like for example the render button. At the same time, the font size of some elements increased. You can now download render profiles as this feature has been fixed. Video stabilization has been fixed as well. Here you can see an example with the default settings. Shaky on the left, stabilized on the right. Projects will autosave now, even if you did not yet create a save file. This is especially useful to me as I often get excited and just start importing and cutting and fading those clips, also known as being lazy. KDN Live has been on the KDE forums for a while already, but now the bug tracker moved to the KDE infrastructure as well. There will be regular fixes and releases, and perhaps regular OS X and Windows releases in the future as well. Currently, the KDN Live team is focusing on the following features. Using OpenGL for video playback, bringing back experimental GPU display and effects. Integrating some of Till Theato's Indiegogo funded work. Adding effects to project clips rather than layers or timeline. And cleaning the code. Thanks for watching! If you are on Facebook, make sure to like the KDN Live page and join the KDN Live group where you can share your works, techniques and tutorials. Ciao!